of all the Elder Scrolls games, okay, maybe excluding Daggerfall because that's ridiculous, right? Which one, which province contains the most shipwrecks? I feel like it's Skyrim. Like Morrowind has a good amount, but I'm, I'm feeling like Skyrim gives it a run for its fucking money. Especially considering Morrowind is literally an island and Skyrim just has the northern coast. Right? Like, what is, what percentage of ships make it? When we had last left the last dragonborn. They went on a super cool mission to find a super cool animal. Yes, a new unicorn had appeared in Skyrim, of all places. <laughs> you know, that is kind of weird. <gasps> yes, indeed, the the Sigic Order had intervened to put a unicorn back on Nern following the tragic events a few hundred years ago where the last unicorn was sacrificed to her scene's foul machinations. But now they brought one back to like, I guess unicorns fucking really love chilling in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, why would you put a unicorn in any other climate than Skyrim? <laughs> There's definitely not any other biomes <laughs> or provinces where a unicorn would be better suited to chilling and vibing. <laughs> Certainly not. But nonetheless, the last dragonborn found it and now rides it around a bit. Now it was time to go up to a shipwreck and get a ring. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Zoop. And as you can see, we're here in Shurim or Shur 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 Shurim, something like that. Our house in uh, Windhelm, where I've rested a little bit. And we could be off on our way to. Oh gosh, where do we even need to go for this? It's like. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I think we take the boat to Dawnstar. Right? Or we could take the boat to Winterhold, run over, and then take the boat from Dawnstar back. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's, that's the plan. We take the carriage to Winterhold, and then we run the rest of the way pick up the shit, and then continue our way back on down. That's a great idea. Okay. Let's head on out. Now, we are also actually running out, I think, of Creation Club stuff to do. We're near the tail end of the slew of it that we have. We're, we've only got, I think, a few things in, like, Soul Slime, aside from getting the Pets of Skyrim, which I have no idea where where the Tamed Fox is. Maybe that's the one that we killed a while back. Right? Like, it was already hostile to us. Maybe that was it, and we just can never finish this. Maybe it's another situation. I don't know. Either way. Hey, what can you do? I, I'm still debating looking up a... You know, I should probably just do it at some point. Just look up a list of all of the artifacts and stuff that you can fish up. Just so we have a, a checklist. I don't know. Because how would I ever know, like, what I'm missing at a certain point, right? Wait. I feel like we got at least one more, but after that, I don't know. Let's go on over here. Oh, dear. Oh, no, wait. No, right. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> look, I just automatically decided to go back and do our other plan. Whoa! Yes! There we go. Look, we'll just swim through the freezing cold water just a little bit. It's fine. There we go. Good, good, good. And then we can head on up here. Oh, there goes Kosnak. Okay. Head over to Winterhold. Great. Take you to any of the hold capitals. Great. Where do you want to go? I want to go back up to Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Thank you. Okay. Get up there. Good. Oh, who is this 
Who's this dude over here? Oh, he must work in one of the farms, there right? Was a hero named must be one of the farm workers out here. Right Fair enough. All right. Cool. Oh, man, you know what? In thinking about it, you know how we've talked before about how cool it would be in, like, a future Elder Scrolls? Because we know that there's going to be more developed uh, vehicle tech. We were just thinking about, like nice things you could do with vehicles, right? We were just saying about like, oh yeah, have carriages along the roads, right? Processions of like, nobles or whatever. What about just like, shipments from farms and shit that you could just rob? Oh my god, that would be amazing if you could just like, rob a fucking caravan as it's going along, like a little wagon or some shit. Right? And in thinking about, you know, fucking honest pay for honest work. Why not just like, get some dishonest work, you know? It, uh, it, there's a whole opportunity there. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Is this a ship that we've seen before? Maybe this is the one that, um... The ship wreck that we're going over to? Maybe it's the one that we had seen that was, like, filled with crabs or something? Or is that completely unrelated or related to something else? I can't even remember. Look, we do have a marker. Yeah, the Pilgrim's Trench. Okay. Which we've been here. I think in the Pilgrim's Trench, wasn't it just like a shitload of, uh... Busted-ass ships? I think. Just assloads of them, just like, all over the place. Pretty wild. Alright. Let's see here. Should we, like, access it by way of... This little camp here? Yeah, maybe we'll park Magical Mabel at this, like, lean-to. There we are. Good. Is there anyone else here? Oh yeah, there was, but they just, like, died. <laughs> okay. Sure. We can sleep here if we want. Oh, they left a note for Shelly. Oh, I think we've read this before. Right. Yeah. I'll be waiting here until I see your face again. They just died. Okay. Goodness. Okay, I mean... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> they must have really been... Look, if they were waiting here, like, in a poetic way... You know, it's supposed to be like, Oh, I waited here for so many years, waiting for your face to, sh to come again to me, Shelly. For me to be reunited with my love, or... My child, or whoever the fuck Shelly was, this dead-ass person, right? At some point, they had to give up, right? They, at some point, a normal person would have given up. Not because, it, like, you know, they were exposed to the elements. But because here... They would have had to have seen, like, 50 different ships wreck right in the same spot. Like, at a certain point, isn't it negligence if you don't try to gain contact with Shelly or whoever Shelly is, like, boarding the ship with or whatever the fuck and be like, whoa, don't come here to, like, Winterhold. You're going to wreck. There's literally a place where I've just witnessed tons of people die at sea right in front of me. I've been waiting here for years watching people die, hoping that one day you would show up and not also die. <laughs> Frankly, Shelly, I'm surprised that Skyrim even has any harbors still, and even does naval trade in any fashion. <laughs> There's more shipwrecks off the coast of Skyrim, and it's not it doesn't even have that big of a coast. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Skyrim might have... Alright. Of all the Elder Scrolls games... Okay, maybe excluding Daggerfall because that's ridiculous, right? Which one... Which province contains the most shipwrecks? I feel like it's Skyrim. Like, Morrowind has a good amount. But I'm, I'm feeling like Skyrim gives it a run for its fucking money. Especially considering Morrowind is literally an island and Skyrim just has the northern coast, right? Like, what is, what percentage of ships make it? <laughs> Alright, let's go on up over here. Let's activate our Ancestor's Wrath. Like, oh no, because we can activate that underwater. So let's actually pop our scroll, right? One of the scrolls that we had picked up. 
Oh dear. It's been so long since I even used a fucking scroll. Okay, there we go. Flame cloak. Beautiful. Alright. Good. Okay. And then, at least we have a map marker, right? <laughs> See? Look at this! This dude must have seen so many people just get fucked up right here. Like, there's so many shipwrecks in this area. Little ships, huge-ass ships, just so many of them, they just watched get obliterated, and they really didn't do much. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm starting to drown. Alright, let's see, let's get our water breathing. Or actually, hang on, let's try this, let's get into the coffin real quick. Okay, final lesson, it's a book. Sovereign Band. Magicka regen, 10% faster. Increases your Magicka by 50 points. Meh. It looks cool. It looks kind of neat. It's like two rings in one. Wow. Okay. Summon the Dramora. Master Elaine's last words. If you're reading this, it means I'm dead. A fate I'm sure brings a smile to your face. If you're standing on your head, anyway. Otherwise, it would just be a frown, and we can't have that. That would be far too predictable. For who doesn't appreciate a little chaos? This is what a sequitur. Uh, maybe I'll finish the sentence by saying flying hork or loaf. I hate this. <laughs> Hopefully now, your frowns are facing the right direction. After all, neither rhyme nor reason has a home here. Fire is water, up is down, right is wrong, death is life. And so, like the Dalak to Lorith before me, I speak to you now, dear apprentice, from inside this box. A wise sage might caution you to be careful when, fo when you follow my path, lest you end up in the same place. But I have never claimed to be wise. To me, death is yet another adventure, another possibility to explore. The same should be true of your life. Aw, oh, I think. Okay, and then let's try this. Well, I just... Oh, look at that. Genius. Okay, so now where do we have to go? All the way out here. Okay. Back to Sky Temple, of course. Right, right, right. Okay, how long does this spell last? Like... Should I just be fucking hustling here? Okay, let's try it. Oh, weird. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Alright, it's uh, the magic on display. <laughs> Travelers come from all around to wonder if they're actually seeing the College of Winterhold finally blow up after all these years. Okay. Over here. Good. And then... Over this way, right? It is back up here at Sky Temple, right? Oh, shit. Should we take care of this bear? I think so. I would also like to go over to that little shrine of Talos. I don't know if I've ever been to it. There we go. Good. I mean, that said, there is the open cage there, which implies that I have been there. But maybe it comes that way? Maybe it's already opened? Oh shit, we're actually gonna have to go right by it. Maybe I've been here like a million times. Oh, we must have been. Wait, it's like some sort of skeever battle royale. Yeah, it was a super skeever show showdown. Oh, and some wizard was to blame. They were like casting calm and fury left and right. On these skeevers. Oh, they were power leveling it. I see. Okay, yeah, they were power leveling their illusion. Oh, fuck. We're already encumbered? What the hell is encumbering me? Oh, aren't I carrying around like a million... Yeah, okay. Yeah, these. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna drop them here. F it. We'll keep the scales. Look, there's a little present here in case we come back again in the future. 
Okay. Should we get this cool Woot Root? I think so. Good. Is there actually a shrine that I can activate here? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Alright, cool. <laughs> Talos, watch over me as I power level my illusion by making Skeevers get angry and get become chill. Non-stop. What a life for the poor Skeevers. Okay, well. Is this even the island? No, this ain't it at all. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's continue on then. Oh, fuck. Let's see, you know what? Let's make use of this other flame cloak. Why not? Good. Yeah, there's the island. Yeah, we've definitely never been to that little area. It's a fun little unmarked shrine to tell us. Do you think maybe at a certain point in time they were all marked? You know? They took them off the maps. There we are. Whoa! Good, good, good. I'm surprised that you don't get some bonus for finding them, right? It really seems ripe for it. I think we brought this up before. But it totally seems like it would be a collectible to travel to every shrine of Talos and do something or the other. You know? Amazing that, uh, that didn't end up being anything, right? Okay, let's head on over here, right? Because, yeah, even Oblivion had, like, Im like, Oblivion and Morrowind before Skyrim had kind of a big deal made about going to various shrines and whatnot, pilgrimages and all that, you know? Weird that Skyrim wouldn't have it for Talos, right? I mean, maybe I would understand it if there were, like, the fact that, like, perhaps you could side with the Thalmor, but you can't, right? You literally cannot, except for in some of the weird Creation Club stuff we've done. The Dragonborn is fiercely against them. Oh, it's not even here, either. Oh, shit. Oh, God, where am I going? Is it even up top, or is it down low? Oh, shit. Okay. Hang on, let's do a quick save. See if <gasps> I can make this gap. There we are. Good. Do you think this is dangerous here? Nah, probably safe. Ah! Ooh! Okay. We're fine. Alright. Cool. Got some bears out here. Loads of them. Go get you. Should I yeah, get those? Oh man, it is getting real cold out. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Let's get a quick save going. Hey, maybe these braziers will ignite. Summon Daedra. Oh fuck, yeah, look at this. Okay. Oh no, you've got frost magic. Well, that's not great. Good. Oh shit. Okay, uh, we'll take that. Blue sigil stone. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Oh, uh, you're gonna be the lightning lord. I gotcha. Good. Oh, did you see that? We actually have to craft it ourselves. Okay, take this one. <laughs> well, this one might be good for me, actually. Maybe we should fight this one for a bit. <laughs> Let's just let this dude wail on me for a little bit here. Get my chill taken care of. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll kill him. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I wish I could summon you more often. Thank you so much. Oh, can we not recover that tiny bit? That sliver? Is that always gonna be gone? It might be. Magic can only recover so much. Yeah, we should have done it by now. Okay. Great. 
Well, that worked out pretty well. Okay, what have you got? Oh, Daedric's Sword of the Inferno. Of course. Should I take it? <laughs> okay. Oh, look, yeah, the braziers did ignite. Are they actually providing any warmth? Hang on, I thought I saw our... our icon begin to fade. Oh, yeah, but I have to stand here like this. Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. Okay. So, craft the Warlock's Mark at a forge, but the other two at a staff enchanter. Oh my gosh, where am I going to find a staff enchanter? Do we have one at, like, Hendraheim? Huh. Is a staff enchanter at the College of Winterhold? Hmm. I mean, I guess we can check the college. Yeah. Otherwise, we can go to Solstheim, because that's where we have to go to next for more Creation Club fun. We can try and hit it up there. That seems like a good plan. Okay. We'll check the College of Winterhold real quick. I'm almost positive there isn't one, unless it got, like, updated after you get the, like, expansion installed. Which, I don't think that's the case. You know? But otherwise, we can very easily hit up the one in Solstheim. Right? At Telmithrin. There might also be one at, like, Severin Manor, but I have no clue. Okay, so here's the college right over here. Huh. What's our best way up there? Hmm. I guess we'll just roll on up. Right? As per usual. Yeah, because we don't really need to worry about the cold right now. Thanks to the braziers and whatnot. Okay. Good. Alright, let's pop a quick save. Let's play it safe. There we go. Good. Yep. Up we go. Lovely. You know, as cool as this looks right now, with, um... The College of Winterhold and all that. How hideous would it have been if that part didn't collapse? Right? Like, if the bridge actually had all the, like, humongous lines going underneath it. Was that how it used to be? Like, was there, like, a gigantic-ass, like, tower of, like, just massive pillars of stone there? Like, at what point... Like, okay, how did it work? Like... How much was here that was, like, filled with land that got washed away? No, look. Yeah, look. This is all just pillars of stone that extended upward, right? Not that much land got obliterated. Yeah, how was this originally situated? How much land got eroded and blown apart versus how much, like... How high were they going with this fucking bridge? At what point do you just say, okay, fuck it. We're just making some kind of a suspension bridge or whatever, right? <laughs> At what point are you just like, okay, fuck, I guess we're just gonna make a bridge out of, like, wooden planks, you know, like a stereotypical fun adventure fucking Indiana Jonesy type bridge. <laughs> you know? Huh. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I would assume... Way back in the day, the College of Winterhold, they were... They didn't have a bridge, right? Those fuckers were levitating over, right? Had to have been. Alright. Over here. Man. Must have been a real fucking, like, gold rush. When they banned levitation. <laughs> and then, like, Hal Stelvani or whoever the fuck started inventing those levitation pads. And all that. Oh my gosh, I bet they were making a killing. <laughs> for all we know, maybe House Telvani was partially responsible for for the outlaw of of, uh, of levitation just so they could turn a profit on those levitation pads. That sounds kind of like them. That sounds like something some wild-ass Telvani wizard would do. 
Sounds very in character. I'd fucking believe it if you told me that. <laughs> that was some grand conspiracy. <laughs> All right, let's get a room here, I think. Or no, 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 fuck it. We may as well sleep at the, uh, at the college, right? If we're gonna check for a staff enchanter. All right. Let's also heal up a bit. Get our stam back. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Storm going away? Yeah, there we are. Cool. Head on over. And up through this. Good. Yeah, weird. Like, imagine these, except maybe like 20 times as high. Just for the sake of supporting the fucking bridge. That's wild. <laughs> that seems that seems like a bit much. <laughs> okay. Let's head on in. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. Hmm. Okay, let's go in here. And like I said, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it wouldn't even be here. It would be at the Archmagister's quarters, right? My bad. What a fool I am. There we go. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there isn't one here, right? We don't have to deal with, like, an alchemy table, do we? Staff enchanters, yeah. Okay. I'm assuming I can't do it at a standard enchanter, right? It's gotta be the special staff enchanter. Let's take a peek. Yeah. Man, have I ever used a staff enchanter even once? I'm not sure if I have. Alright, well... We may as well rest here, because we have to... Yeah, let's rest out the... The night. Let's go for 12 hours, because it is quite chilly here. I'd rather the sun be a little bit higher. There we go. Great. Eat some of that. Can we pick up any salt in here? Sack of flour. Yeah, I guess I'll eat that. We'll check three... Filled sacks. Or even barrels. I'll check. Well, they may not... <laughs> they may not have respond. <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. Fine. I guess that's what you want in an area like this. Okay. Good. And then, let's head on out this way. Or, I guess we could call for... Uh, Odiving now, right? Should be able to get that popping off. Yeah, let's call for Odiving. Assuming we don't walk out here and, like, we're immediately attacked by some other fucking dragon. Okay. Call dragon. Odiving! There we go. Beautiful. Two hours. Great. Pop a quick save. Girl, Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bend Will's ready. Girl, oh, man. I thought that would have hit for sure. Okay. Girl, there we go. Okay. Now, where will you land? Oh, right on top of my fucking body. Love it. Okay. How can I serve you, Thori? Sound like someone got hurt massively by the landing. Okay. Great. And then let's head on over to Windhelm again. And then we'll take the boat out of here to Solstheim. Right? Because we do have Solsheim. We also have, like, regular Solsheim exploring to do. We may as well knock all that out, I think. There we go. Good. Alright. Because we do also, at the very least, I know for a fact we have to hit up, uh... Karstag, right? Okay. Up here. Oh, shit. Especially now that we've got, like, a... 
our sort of quintessential Wait. setup going. I know you. you know? Okay. Over here. And oh. Good. Up we go. Great. It is our most favorite company. Oh, thank you, Shavi. Let's see, it wasn't you, right? It was Captain Gyalin does the business. Yeah, right? Captain Gyalin. Yes. I'd like to book passage to Solstheim. Do you have enough coin for the journey? I do. Right then. Let's be off. Good. Odovin can't fly us up there, right? Talk to Captain Gyalin if you're looking to book passage. Okay. Captain Gyalin does the business around here. Good, good, good. Now let's check out. Severin Manor and see if we have a staff enchanter there. I don't think so. I think maybe the only one on the island could be at Telmithra, right? Man, been a while since we were last here in any serious measure. Really quite miss it. Okay. Down this way. Let's see, a staff enchanter. We did sure as hell leave a bunch of junk around, didn't we? Okay. I don't think we've got one, right? I don't think so. At the very least, I suppose we could rest here, right? That seems like a good idea. Yeah, because these are like the two little crafting alcoves, right? What all did I throw? Oh, Mirax sword. Well, I'm going to take that. Ancient Nordic pickaxe, ebony scimitar. Eh. The rest we can leave, but I feel like I should put something back up there. Huh. We'll throw this up. Sure, why not? Okay, good. Oh, I've got the champion's cudgel here. Yeah, we need to haul a bunch of this stuff back. Back to the mainland. As much as I fucking love Severin Manor and all of that, it just doesn't work out for coming back to very easily with survival mode installed. Okay, let's rest. Let's go for 12 hours. Now let's go 13. Seems better. Okay. Let's do a quick save, and we'll run over to tell Mithrin real quick. Right, because we should... Like, there's a likelihood that we go there, and we check out the Enchanter, and we don't even have the proper reagents, right? Oh, we should also check out the Forge while we're right here. Perfect. Warlock's Mark. Oh, it just requires the Blue Sigil Stone. Okay, perfect. Wow. I wish I could put my own enchant on it instead of this, like, shitty one. <laughs> right? It, it's not even a double enchant. It's such a neat, unique uh, little item. All right. Well, there we go. Crafted. Okay. Yeah, so we probably will have the reagents, right? We should be fine. Okay. Should we pop down a marker? Just to be safe? I think so. Good. And now that we're back on Solstheim, I think we should keep an eye out for any, like, additional little areas that we haven't been to. Right. I think we cleared out the vast majority of them, but I want to say, like, one or two sections in, like, central or northern Solstheim have eluded us. Right. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. Uh, of course, our old friends... Hunting the mighty Netch. We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? Uh... No, good luck. Luck? Luck will play no part today. We will earn our victory, or return to the Allmaker. Okay, good luck. Or, or bat, or... Kill it. <laughs> Alright. Man. Shoot. Okay. Sorry. Let's continue on our way. Good. Ooh, look at this. We're getting a bit of an ash storm, too. Love it. 
Okay, let's get Sunder re-equipped. There we are. Look at this weirdo. Oh. <laughs> Look at him gallivanting about. Frolicking through the ash. Good. Okay. Should I take all that? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, Koznak, this is your first time up here, huh? Check out the... The ash hopper. Definitely not a scrib. Maybe it got mutated or something, right? I'd believe that. Okay. I just decided to eat the, the jelly. Elixir of health, solution of health. Resist magic. Everybody pushes me around. Well, no more. Whoa, Koznak. What are you fighting out here, Koznak? You're missing out on the free booze. Remember, hit the one in the middle. Okay. Have we been in Hrodulf's cellar and all that? Yeah, it's marked as cleared. Yeah, it's been so long since we were last out here. Alright, I'm just gonna assume that you're taking care of business there. Oh man, I can't even get any hearts down. Koznak, what are you... What are you fighting? What are you doing? Trying to punch this log? You in like a survival crafting? Oh man, Kazak's really been drinking too much. He's he can't even see it. Whatever he's fighting, he's hallucinating. Okay, well, have a good one there, Kaznak. Man, I'm still in combat though. All right, F it. Let's be off on our way. Okay, good, good, good. Oh man, look, more of them. Okay. Ugh. Sound really juicy. Okay. I'll take it. Why not? Head on up over here. Good. Getting a little hungry, but eh, it's fine. Let's get our speed activated as well. Amazingly, the dragon that is almost always out here isn't. Huh. There's some Khajiit here. Damn you. Oh, you've got some, like, health going on. There we go. Trying to top off my stamina. Yeah. Oof, sorry. Take your weird ingots that you got. Good. Leave the rest. Alright. I almost was wondering if that was tied to, like, the quests that we're on or whatever. Right? Or one of them that we're about to do. I don't- I can't remember the last time we just encountered a random Khajiit out in the wild who just wanted to kill us. Ugh. Man, we got a lot of fucking bogeys on the radar over there. Look at that. Kind of feel like rolling through them all, though. Get some good-ass XP on our one handed again. Oh, sorry, Vincent Van Gogh. There we are. Great. Amazing that the... The Skull aren't out here trying to kill these dudes, you know? <laughs> Was there no, like... Honor in the Allmaker's eyes for killing the Ash spawn. 
Better to kill the mighty Netch. I guess maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they see it as like an abomination. Whereas, yeah, there is maybe legitimately honor in killing like a more natural born creature rather than one that's the result of the heart and ensuing eruption. Okay. There we go, up here. And in the main shroomage, right? There we go. Good. Okay. Up we go. Ate a little salmon, too. Iraq was a here formidable it is, right? I wonder what he would have been like as my apprentice. <laughs> All right. Here we are. What does it do? Burns the target for 20 points. 30% chance for Frost and Shock to do 20 points of damage. Really? Arm of the Moon. Random chance to demoralize or frenzy a target for 60 seconds. Huh. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Yeah, so it gets a little orbulon in the middle. Which, is that meant to, like, symbolize Nern? If the two other wishy, like, stick bits are meant to be the moons? And for the sun one, yeah, it also gets an orbulon in the middle. Okay. Sure. Great. I mean, they don't seem particularly good, do they? Yeah. Quest complete. They do have animations, though. That's neat. Get a closer look. Yeah, okay. And this one? Yeah, alright, sure. Anything else we can make here? We got all sorts of new staves we can fuck around with, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, look, installing the, like, staff shit... <laughs> this UI would be, like, useless if not for... If not for Sky UI, right? Like, how would you go through... <laughs> like, imagine you're on console... And you want to sort through all this shit. You'd be scrolling for a million years. There's no, like, search function you can utilize, right? Yeah, what if you just want one of the classic ones? Oh, look, Staff of Sheogorath. What the fuck? Hey. What the hell is this shit? Serta's Eye? Branch of the Tree Shades? Two hearts? To oh, shit, maybe that's one of the quests that we're out here to get. <laughs> it's to learn how to craft this. Okay, well... I guess we know what we're going to get then. <laughs> right? If it's Hearthstone, maybe this is very likely what we're out here at Solstheim to do. Okay. Fair enough. What else have we got? Are there any other peculiar ones? Let's see. Nah, it just looks fairly like... The standard stuff and then the new stuff from... The Creation Club staves. Which I do, I do like them. I do like the look of these staves. And I love that they brought back the dreg staves. You know? Is there actually a cool thing you can cast here? Or nah? Is there anything p particularly cool? Or is it just all the stuff that you can find randomly? Hmm. Vanquishment? No. Yeah, just seems like Garbo. Okay. Hey, you know what would be fucking rad, though? Oh, man. Holy shit, it just occurred to me. This is a staff enchanter. How cool would it be if this, um... If this meshed with... 
the enchanting perk that lets you put two enchantments on an item, right? And then you can have a staff that does two different effects. That might be fun, right? Probably still not worth the carry weight. But it'd be really cool to have a staff that just does two fucking things, you know? That'd be neat. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Wait, of repulsion? That's... Okay, yeah. I keep wanting to think that's like a... Like a foos or something. <laughs> right? Like an AoE version of what the staff of Hasadoki can do. Wait, what? Oh, there's two different... Styles of wooden staff. There's one that's like a birch and the other one that's like, I don't know, a willow. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I never actually really paid much mind to this. Right? Like I said, the staff crafting really isn't that, uh, that cool, is it? But there's so many ways it could be cool, you know? There's a lot of ways it could be really cool. Like, frankly, I'm surprised there's not a, I don't know, enchanting perk or whatever to where it's like, has improved uh, spells or whatever fired, like damaging spells fired from staves do, uh, a percentage extra damage like there are for perks for, like, blunt weapon and stuff, right? Or one-handed in, in Skyrim land. You know, shit like that. And there should, oh, fuck, and there should also be very similar to that, um, Especially because there's not perks that increase your destruction damage, unless it's like an elemental type or whatever, right? There is that, right? But it'd be so much cooler if there were also uh, perks that, that were all specialized around using staves, like an entire stave using tree, or like a branch of enchanting, right? Or maybe not even enchanting of, um, nah, probably enchanting would be it, right? Or maybe its own tree, you know? I don't know. I feel like there's a bunch of potential there, untapped. Fingers crossed for Elder Scrolls Six, right? Okay. Sure. Well, let me consult my notebook here. We did actually complete that quest, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, where do we have to go to here? Oh fuck, we gotta go back to Raven Rock. Okay. Sure. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Yeah, both of the quests that we have for here are in Raven Rock. Okay. That's fine. There we are. Whee. Good. Okay, let's pop a quick save too. And let's be off on our way over here. Good, good, good. And you know what? Maybe when we get here, we'll end the video and I can sort of sort through our amassed inventory. Oh shit, don't I also need to buy... Did I... Re yeah, I need to buy this dude. Don't I? I need to buy this yes, Nixon. Can't I buy it from you or whatever? Hmm. Yeah. Oh shit, actually, looking at it right now, this is actually one of the things on my notes. <laughs> okay. There. Thanks. Meet the Nyx Hound. What else have you got for sale? Oh. Do I want this? I've bought it. I don't think I even want that anymore, though. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's... I guess that's fine. Alright, then. Alright. Hey, Nyx Hound. Can you do anything weird? Do you have anything on you? No. Okay. It's probably for the best that we don't have a Nyx Hound following us because... Yeah, because it makes this more distracting noise than Gordon. Gordon is actually kind of quiet and works quite well, whereas this Nyx Hound kind of, I don't know, barks at us or whatever? Which is kind of cute, but... But becomes kind of an issue when I'm talking, right? <laughs> this is only an issue for me doing a playthrough on the old YouTube, right? 
Okay. Let's see. Wait for me at home. Can you go all the way to... Yeah, go to Golden Hills Plantation with all the other friends. Okay. I don't know how you're going to get over there, but... Good luck to you. What's this on the floor? What might you need? Short history of Morrowind. Okay. Let's head on over this way. Good, good, good. And we'll head on over back to Raven Rock. And like I said, yeah, I think in between videos, I'll just tend to our inventory. I can even uh, put shit on our our butler, right? Our weird little butler dude. And that way it'll be even easier to haul a whole bunch of the collectible items back to the mainland, right? Because I want to get it all set up in, like, either Hendraheim or the Shadowfoot Refuge, or even if, if absolutely necessary, like, if if we fill all those locations up, we can set them up in, like, Mirror Watch or whatever, you know? I think that's also a good idea. Right, Mirror Watch could be, like, our fun little backup, I think. Because that had kind of a fun setup, too, but if I remember correctly, it didn't have quite the complete armory, right? I don't think any of them really do, right? None of them have, like, a full set of of everything that you would want. They tend to lean toward one sort of specialization or another. Okay. Let's head on up over here. Right? Yeah. Good, good, good. And then, like I said, I think we have, like, one or two more locations on Solstheim that we need to tend to, right? Oh, and also, when this Skyrim video is coming out, it'll be Christmas Eve. So, hey, if you celebrate it, Merry Christmas. Have a good one. And uh, even uh, if you aren't celebrating it, fuck it. Do something nice for yourself, right? Whether or not you're celebrating it, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, do something nice for yourself, right? Have like a little, little treat. Play a little game, watch a little movie or something. I don't know. Have a good one. Why not? Okay. There we are. Good. All right. So when next we come back, I think this will end up being our last Creation Club I piece of business, barring this, finishing up fishing. And I don't think we can do the other ones because they're bugged. And I don't know if we should even bother with, like, trying to fast-forward the progression on them, right? I'm not even sure. Because it's not like there's other quest stages that we're missing out on, you know? It's not like that would be, like, we're missing out on something cool, because we got to the final stage and it just bugged out or whatever, right? So, I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>